Yo, what's up guys? It's International O with another one. You know the deal, you know the drill. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Greatly appreciate it, go a long way. Uh, it's been an interesting week, man. Uh, we gonna start off with one on the episode of Say No More. It's a YouTube show with PJ Tucker and a friend of his named Brandon. They announced that they are actually opening up a sneaker store here in Houston. Um, if he said the name, I don't remember, but uh, it should be coming soon. I know back in April, he was on IG Live and he said the store was opening in October. I know due to COVID may have gotten away. I'm not quite sure if it's still opening this month, but it's coming. Uh, I'm still working on trying to get more details on a, a hard date, if it's opening or not. And he said that um, they didn't elaborate, but he said the concept of the store as far as releases is going to be different than what normal places are doing now. And I'm assuming that we're going to get more releases than we normally would. So that's definitely something to look forward to here. Myself, a Houstonian, um, will be looking towards uh, the opening of that store. So I'll keep an eye out. When I find out something, you'll find out. If you know before me, let me know in the comments. Greatly appreciate it. Next, um, Nike has been doing a lot of restocks lately. Um, starting last week, they had the Royal Ones, the Off-White Fours, and the Snakeskin Ones. And then they had a Jordan Reserve with like 14 pair, and then they had another Reserve, and it's just been restocks after restocks, and they had a 50% off sale. Well, Monday, today is Thursday, but Monday, they had a restock on the Nike app and not sneakers. Now, that actual restock was given exclusive access to certain members. Myself was not one of those members. Um, so, I noticed that uh, certain Twitter accounts I follow, like Soul Link, Sneaker Twitter, they were tweeting the links to the actual shoe. But if you didn't have access, you wasn't able to access the shoe. So, when I clicked on the link, it would say, this item is no longer available. The trick though, what I found out, which probably was a glitch because I didn't have access, but what I did was I looked at every shoe that was tweeted in that restock and I just opened up the Nike app and I ran a search. So for instance, they had a Jordan Fire Red 5s. I opened up the Nike app. I clicked the link, it said no longer available. I went in the Nike app, typed in Jordan 5, Fire Red 5s pulled up and I was able to buy them if I wanted to. So everything that they had restocked, if I clicked the link, it said no longer available. I opened up the app and searched it and it was there and able for me to buy it. They had 11, uh, the 11 low reverse breads, they had hair sixes, gray school DMP sixes, Fire Red 5s. It's a bunch of different uh, shoes that they had. And I had access if you just opened the app and searched by that actual, um, searched by that actual shoe silhouette and that's how i was able to access it i didn't buy anything because it wasn't nothing i really wanted but just trying to see if i was still able to access it that way and i was so that was an interesting glitch that i found on the nike app lastly nike is suing warren lotus if you're not familiar with him he is the gentleman that has released nike dunks and he changes the check on it a little bit he'll modify it he'll put a face at the end or something on the end of the swoosh and different things like that so recently he's done a collab with jeff staple he got jeff staples permission to recreate the nike dunk pigeon so he recreated the nike sb pigeon and on the check he put like a jason face on it at the end of the check you could probably see a picture here as i'm talking to you guys and he did a pre-order for 300 dollars, and the shoe i think was supposed to be shipped out i think in october or something like that if i'm not mistaken so that started raising questions on twitter about the legitimacy of his shoe which people started wondering was he getting ua pairs and actually customizing ua pairs or did he get those from jeff staple directly not sure um, but Jeff Staple actually gave him the, the cosign by posting on his own Instagram uh, that this actual shoe is releasing. So in return, 
Nike is suing Warren Lotus. I haven't read anything that's saying that they're suing Jeff Staples also, but I'm pretty sure that this will have a huge effect on future staple Nike releases. We probably won't see any more because of this. Uh, so if you have a pair, you might want to hold on to them because the stock and the price probably going up. Um, so I noticed with, you know, when people raise a question, well, you know, about the lawsuit, why are they suing? Um, of course, because of the, the, the features of the shoe are too identical to Nike. Then you, if, if he's getting a UA dunks and redesigning them, you can't sell a UA of a real shoe. That's illegal. You will get sued for that. And in some places, if you don't have an actual retail permit, you can get arrested for that and fined heavily. So um, that could be a possible reason. But it's it. I've noticed, like I said, designers customize Nikes. I've seen customized Jordans and they some of them have done their due diligence. Some haven't. Uh, the ones that have do, do, done their due diligence, I'm sorry, did research. Because people look at the Bapesta. Now, how was Bapesta able to duplicate the Air Force One? Simple. What they did was with Nike or with the patent, with the U.S. Patent Office, uh, a patent lasts 20 years. So the Air Force One had a patent in 1982. And in 2002, that patent was up. So before Nike could renew that patent, Bape swooped right in made that design, got that one patent. So that protected them from being sued by Nike. Everyone else that's out here just designing Nikes and recreating Jordans and Nikes probably didn't do that. And that's why they get sued. But also, like I said, with Warren Lotus issue is a matter of not only are you redesigning a shoe and, it, and it's not up for patent, but the shoes that you're selling, are they authentic? Did they come from Nike? So if you get in a shoe that is an actual Nike Dunk and it didn't come from Nike and it's a UA and you're designing it, bad move. Uh, but that's pretty much all I have for you guys. Just wanted to keep you updated on news. Um, I haven't really been buying anything lately. I think I have some shoes coming next week. I think so. I know that's bad. I'm recording from my phone, so I can't look into my phone. I'm, I'm working on getting the camera. I had that GoPro 9, had issues with it, even with the memory card, and they told me to ask the memory card company SanDisk to replace it, even though I bought it from GoPro, and I just sent it back. I wasn't doing all that. So I will be getting another camera so I can if I have something I need to look at in my phone and talk to you guys and other reasons. So that is that. Uh, but... That's all the news I have for you guys. Just wanted to keep you updated with what's going on in footwear news. If you are not aware, again, hit that like button. Again, hit that subscribe button. May want to watch these videos. Like I said, you might see some surprises in these videos. You never know. But until the next one, you guys be cool.